Hello guys, welcome back to another video. If you're a game developer, a 3D artist, or if you just like grabbing free high quality assets, you'll definitely want to stick around for this one. Epic Games just dropped another round of free Unreligion 5 assets, and this week they've got a pretty decent lineup to go through. Like usual, Epic is giving away three asset packs completely free. So in this video, I'll be going through each of the three packs, show you what you're actually getting, and talk about how you might use them in your own projects, and of course, why it's actually worth grabbing them before they rotate out. So whether you're working on a game, putting together a cinematic, or just experimenting inside of Unreligion, religion 5 there's probably something useful here to use and if you guys are new here to the channel my name is smart poly i make all sorts of unreal engine news and content and if you are interested in learning unreal engine for game development i have some exciting news my unreal engine 5 multiplayer survival game course bundle now has a 25 percent off limited time sale to commemorate the launch of unreal engine 5.7 we're having a special 25 percent off discount so use code unreal 57 at checkout when you purchase the survival game course bundle get access to over a hundred hours of learning content content between both courses included in the single bundle and kickstart your game development journey today. So check it out, link in the description below or head over to my website smartpoly.teachable.com to learn more. And with all that out of the way, let's get right into the video. So the first asset pack here is the mechanic girl. So essentially this is a character model that is fully modular. So this is sort of like a, I want to say like a steampunk inspired character just because of like the outfit, the goggles, and things like the gloves. But this character is fully modular and comes with a lot of different presets. So you can see this one has sort of like the oil and dirt preset on the character's outfit there. And this one is like sort of like this, I don't know, anime styled character. So it's not really like a super realistic design, but the textures are still pretty well detailed. So yeah, there are some different hair variants as you can see here. Uh, different types of clothing and outfits. Okay, you can see that they have different colors as well. So they have red, white, and then a different hair color as well. So this one kind of reminds me of Expedition 33 for some reason. I'm not sure why. Over here we have the character. Looks like this rigged to like a T-pose. And I think they rigged it to the epic skeleton. So we have some different basic animations. Comes with some walking. Some basic walking animations, idle, running, jumping, and all that good stuff. Okay, and here are all the modular assets. So you can see some of the different clothing pieces. And yeah, that's pretty much everything that comes included in that pack. Okay, so next up we have this laboratory environment. So this is a laboratory environment actually kind of caught my eye. But on further inspection of this level, I've got to say the assets aren't like super... Uh, well, I guess textured, like I kind of feel like the textures here are just a little bland in my opinion, or maybe that's just like the style that they were going for. But yeah, as you can see, stuff like the walls and even like this, I think freezer, doesn't really have much texture to it. Yeah, you can see like the chairs as well. Yeah, so I'm not really sure about this one. I don't know, you guys can let me know your thoughts down in the comments down below, but it's pretty much like just a couple of assets in here in this very simple level. Yeah, and yeah, that's pretty much all the assets. So yeah, that's a pretty quick uh, review of that. Last but not least, we have this medieval village. So this little pack, oh, for some reason, I guess the uh, flags there are bugged. It's not hanging on there. But anyways, let's go ahead and check this little village out. So this is another one of the packs that are free for this limited time. So actually these buildings come with an interior, so that's pretty nice. You're not seeing that very often with some of these asset packs that are in the free collection. So yeah, over here we have sort of like this little pathway. And, oh, I didn't even notice that they have background mountains as well. So you can see the mountains off in the distance. Looks like we have different types of pine trees. And I'm not sure what's going on over there with the ground, something glitching. Here's another interior of the buildings. Okay, so this is pretty cool. It comes with some staircases that leads up to this, I guess, top floor or like a balcony. So it looks like they have some sort of cutscene actually that you can play through here. So let's go ahead and just check this out real quick. You know, whenever there's like a medieval asset pack, especially a medieval village, I feel like there's a lot of those on Fab for some reason. Okay, so here is this little tavern or inn. I don't really like the lighting in this scene for some reason. I feel like it's a little bit too yellow, like the post-process. Let's see if we actually just turn this off. 
I guess even still like the I don't know if it's like the directional light I feel like they could have done a little bit of a better job with the lighting here it's like feels a little bit washed out I'm not sure okay apparently they have also a night uh, scene so let's go ahead and load this one up as well okay so the night scene looks in my opinion a lot better so let's go ahead and check this out we see we have a couple of different torches here okay here is like the interior so maybe they're using like some baked lighting bake lighting in the level because so we see a little previews down there on the ground so up here this is a pretty neat little area looks like they just have a couple of lights so you can see up there and yeah it looks like they have another building over here so some pretty simple interiors not not really a bunch of props inside the buildings but you guys get the idea but yeah that is pretty much the village the map size is actually i think it's actually pretty decent uh looks like there's i don't know if those background props over here yeah, it looks like some lower poly, you know, background assets. Okay, here is the level that has all the assets, the overview level. So you can see everything was made with these modular pieces and some of the details. They're not really like high poly meshes or anything like that. So they're pretty well game optimized if you're looking to create some sort of game. And there are some of the background mountains. Okay, we have a tree mesh over here. I'm not sure if like the LOD is bugged or if that's just how the tree looks. Some of the leaves aren't really touching the branch there, but yeah, there are some of the different roof pieces and that's pretty much everything that comes included. Also, there are some blueprints in this level. So this is a building blueprint. So blueprints can be found under the meshes structure folder. Uh, choose component from the dropdown list. lets you replace the mesh with other modular pieces of the same size. So in this case, two meters times three meters. So let's go ahead and select this. And yeah, there's a lot of different settings. We can choose the door type. One, two, three. So different options there. Interior door, uh, door rotation. You can even choose that like so. Choose window in case. Flip the door, dynamic door. So yeah, there's a lot of customization settings here. Looks like they have some sort of spline footprints decal system. Here are some static meshes that are using the stretch material. Okay, some other props work in a similar way. Try to scale it. Okay, so, huh, that's interesting. So it's like, I guess like a procedural pull. So you can see like the wood texture on there. Yeah, that's pretty cool, I guess. And then we have a sign that we can customize. Well, this thing has a lot of debug. We can choose the sign, a variant, the color. So yeah, there's a lot of customization in here. And it looks like we have some fence blueprints as well. And then we have the flags, some flags that have real cloth simulation and then i guess some cart tracks so yeah those are pretty much all the assets that come included for this last half of the month the month of december let me know what you guys think about these assets down in the comments down below i think personally the realistic lab environment was kind of a letdown i thought it would be a little bit more detailed in terms of the textures at least from the pictures that i saw on the store page it looked a lot more detailed but yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below. That's pretty much it for this video, so I'll see you guys in the next one.